Hello, Ruby Lane dolls. We are here with doll doctor Linda Wall. She is also a doll artist, and she is going to tell us today how she stabilized and or preserved this wonderful antique dress. So, Linda, can you tell us a little bit about what you've done so far? Well, underneath this, there is the lining, and this was all melting here completely Let's off. Let's get close in so you guys can see. So this is antique silk and a lot of times it does what we call melts. So it, it gets very thin and it and it melts. So, it's very fragile as it gets old. So every time you move it it's gonna it's gonna start melting even more. So to stabilize it to keep and preserve this dress you can see where this is lifted up. What I'm gonna do is just lift it up a little bit and what I have taken, let's show everybody what we have going right here. So you have some instant grip glue yes. and a toothpick. And understand that when a little bit goes a long way and I'm spreading a light coat and then I'm just pressing it down so it doesn't bleed through and that will grip. It literally will preserve this. That's amazing. Then I lift this up and also with grip, saliva will break it down. You notice I'm not using very much. Just will reach in there and spread it out. It's If you spread it out and then you roll the toothpick over it. Now what about staining from the glue? It's not as bad as having it completely come off, you know, and having and it can, melt continue to melt. So this is an area that you have stabilized with the glue. Yes, I've stabilized it here with the glue. This was here before. Those are little patches. Patches that somebody had put on. Now see, this is lifted a little bit, so I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. And here again, I use my... You don't want much. And understand, if you get grip glue somewhere, if you use saliva, it will break it down and help there. That will help it. And what we've also done, rather than add something to this dress, I've unsnipped it from here. And when I steamed it, I'm just going to open this up a little bit more to cover up some of that. So action. underneath, let's just show our viewers what's going on underneath here. So this is what have you done underneath here? I've stabilized all of this, but I wanted to cover up some of this when we take a picture of it. So what I've done is snip this away where it's stabilized it on the hip. And I've just opened it up when I steamed it so that this will sort of cover some of that patch or the stabilization of that dress. Well, that's a great idea. So stabilize and then cover up as much as you can of the areas of the stabilization. So if you guys see here, we're getting in a little close. You can see where Linda has stabilized it. You can see the little glue spots, but again, that is better than having your wonderful antique early dress completely deteriorate. Okay, now on the hem, let me see where I can find it. Okay, it was separating here again. Okay, you can see right here. Rather, it was completely torn apart. So what I did is I figured out where it would pleat under and I just tacked it here in the seam so you could take it like so. So for those of you that are just tuning in, we are using instant grip glue and showing you how to stabilize a silk antique dress that is deteriorating or melting with age. So this, this is how a professional doll doctor is preserving this fabric. And I'm really not gonna worry. I'm gonna probably, after I get it on the doll, I will probably go along in these little frays I will take. And sometimes you can take this glue, roll it on the toothpick, and you can go on this end and it will stop it from fraying. Oh. So that will stop the deterioration too. Well, that is a wonderful tip. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is this dress going to go on this? It's going to on this doll. And look at that wonderful hat on the back. You've got a, a bonnet. That is a fabulous bonnet. Are you going to stabilize the bonnet as well? Yes. And I'm going to curl her wig, of course. But We have a jokester here, too. <laughs> At least you got to have fun in the doll shop. Well, thank you very much, Linda, for uh, your tips on how to uh, stabilize the dress. This is a labor of love, but it, it does uh, take some time, and I think it is worth it. So if you guys have any questions on this, you can comment on the video, and we will answer. And it looks like you still have uh, some more to do up, up right here. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, let's see. Here again, I've left it tacked here. But you can see, it was just mainly in the front. Okay. Well, we hope this helps, and we hope you guys have a great day. Happy dolling.